Hi, I am Teacher Daisy. Now, let's learn Form 4 Mathematics Chapter 10. Consumer Mathematics, Financial Management. In this chapter, you will learn 10.1, Financial Planning and Management. 10.1 Financial Planning and Management Financial management is a process that involves managing money, from sources of income into savings, expenses, protection, and investment. The five steps in financial management process 1. Setting goals 2. Creating financial plan 3. Carrying out financial plan 4. Reviewing and revising the progress. 5. Evaluating financial status. 1. Setting goals. Setting goals is the first step in the financial management process. A. Short term financial goals can be achieved in less than a year. Do not involve a large amount of money, for example, purchasing a laptop, furniture, a cell phone, and others. B. Long-term financial goals, usually take more than 5 years to achieve. Involve a large amount of money. For example, an individual needs to have savings for retirement, children's education, medical expenses and others. Example of a goal, an individual would like to have RM15,000 of savings, in the bank 3 years before marriage. We should prioritize, to meet our basic needs, such as food, accommodation, and clothing, rather than wants. Effective financial planning will help us to avoid financial problems and have an adequate savings in the event of an emergency. Smart financial goals Financial goals set based on the SMART concept will help us control our spending in order to achieve the desired financial goals. The five key components in this strategy are Specific Measurable Attainable Reliable Time-bound Example Ensik Yusuf will be celebrating Family Day in Port Dixon in six months. This celebration will cost him RM 1500. Ensik Yusuf needs to save RM 250 a month from his income of RM2500 in order to achieve his financial goal. Is Ensik Yusuf's financial goal a smart approach? Solution Specific Ensik Yusuf's goal is to celebrate Family Day in Port Dixon. In this case, Ensik Yusuf's goal is specific because he aims to go on vacation at a specific location. Measurable Ensik Yusuf's specific goal can be calculated as he knows the amount of money needed to celebrate family day. In this case, Ensik Yusuf's goal can be measured because he knows how much money is needed to celebrate family day. Attainable Ensik Yusuf's financial goal is attainable because it can be achieved by saving RM250 a month from his monthly income of RM2500. Realistic Ensik Yusuf's financial goal of celebrating Family Day in Port Dixon in six months is realistic. He will save RM250 a month to achieve the goal. Time bound Ensik Yusuf's financial goal is time bound because it has a time limit of six months. Therefore, Ensik Yusuf applied the SMART concept in his goal setting. 2. Evaluating financial status, assets and liabilities are the benchmarks for evaluating our financial status. Examples of assets are cash, savings, real estate investments, fixed deposits, unit trusts, or company shares. Liabilities are bank loans, credit card debts, and other financial obligations. Know the outstanding payments such as unsettled rent, utility bills, credit card bills, and others. Evaluating our financial status helps us measure our performance in the effort of achieving our financial goals. 3. 
Creating financial plan. Financial planning helps us monitor our cash flow. There are two important components in constructing a financial plan, namely the sources of income and expenses. Income consists of active income and passive income. Active income is the main income, such as salaries, allowances, commissions, and other financial resources. Passive income consists of rent received, interest received, dividends, and other investments. Both of these incomes are cash inflows. Expenses consist of fixed expenses and variable expenses. Fixed expenses are expenses that must be paid or spent such as rent, insurance payments, housing loan installments, car installments, and credit card payments. Variable expenses will change every month, according to our spending behavior. For example, petrol expenses, groceries, electricity bill payments, and water bill payments. Both of these expenses are cash outflows. A positive cash flow will exist if the total income exceeds the total expenses. A negative cash flow will exist if the total income is less than the total expenses. Steps to consider before creating a financial plan 1. Define the short term and long term goals. 2. Make an initial budget to achieve each goal. 3. Calculate monthly savings needed to achieve the short term and long term goals. 4. Analyze spending behavior. 5. Set a time frame to achieve each goal. 6. Determine income strategies that will help to achieve the financial goals. Example of an individual's financial goal, effective financial management, helps us develop strategies to manage our spending behavior to accumulate monthly savings. Example, Mr. Derek receives an active income of RM3000 and a passive income of RM1000 in a month. Mr. Derek also has fixed expenses of RM1350 and variable expenses of RM650 in a month. A. Calculate Mr. Derek's monthly cash flow. Explain your answer. Cash flow equals total income minus total expenses equals RM3000 plus RM1000 minus RM1350 minus RM650 equals RM2000 positive cash flow a positive cash flow of RM2000 is good because Mr. Derek has a surplus of income after deducting the expenses this will allow him to invest or deal with emergency situations B. Explain Mr. Derrick's cash flow, if Mr. Derrick does not have any passive income, and the total expenses increase by 60%. Total expenses equals 160% times RM2000 equals RM3200. Cash flow equals total income minus total expenses equals RM3000 minus RM3200 equals negative RM200 negative cash flow a negative cash flow will burden Mr. Derek and may cause him to use the credit card facilities to solve financial problems example Sheikh Janani works as a private school teacher she earns an income of RM3500 she also gives tuition classes and earns an income of RM1000. Sheikh Janani also rents out her house for RM850 a month. She has fixed expenses of RM1200 and variable expenses of RM600 in a month. Calculate Sheikh Janani's monthly cash flow. Explain your answer. Solution Cash flow equals RM3500 plus RM1000 plus RM850 
minus RM 1200 minus RM 600 equals RM 3550 positive cash flow. A positive cash flow of RM 3550 is good because Cheikh Janani can save money in the bank and benefit from the interest. This interest is a passive income for Cheikh Janani. 4. Carrying out financial plan, follow the plan at an early stage. Be ready to change and compare the planned monthly expenses and actual expenses. This helps to identify any wastage and reduce the actual expenses in order to meet the monthly expenses as planned. Prioritize the payments for fixed expenses. For example, housing loan installments, credit card payments, and car installments. Late installment payment will lead to additional interest charges and late payment penalty. Ensure that the monthly cash flow is always positive where the income exceeds the expenses. If there is a negative monthly cash flow, prompt action should be taken to change the spending behavior. If this problem is not resolved, then we will fail in achieving our financial goals within the specific time frame. Example, Juan Amia plans to buy a car worth RM50,000 within a year. She plans to pay a down payment of RM7,500 with her savings. Juan Amina does not have any savings. She wants to get a car loan from a bank. Bank X offers several options. After evaluating her financial status, Juan Amina chooses to pay the monthly installment for seven years as that is what she can only afford. Juan Amina's family financial plan 10% of income should keep his savings before spending expenses. Surplus of income equals income balance minus total monthly fixed expenses minus total monthly variable. Juan Amina's family financial plan and actual cash flow. Based on Juan Amina's financial plan, the expenses for groceries can be reduced by RM100. Being careful with money has reduced her spending on groceries. Positive cash flow is an additional savings. A. Based on Juan Amina's family financial planning, can she achieve her financial goal? Juan Amina can achieve her short-term financial goal of buying a car, with a down payment of RM7500. Total of monthly savings equals RM650 times 12 months equals RM7800. She still has a surplus of RM300 from her needs of RM7500. She also has an excess of RM220 per month in case of emergency or unexpected expenses. B. Is Juan Amina's financial management wise? Justify your answer. It is a wise financial management because Juan Amina is spending on basic needs. She also has monthly savings, prioritizes protection by buying insurance, and she does not have any debts like credit card debt. C. Does Juan Amina use the smart approach to achieve her financial goals? Justify your answer. Juan Amina uses the smart approach to achieve her financial goals, which are specific, buy a car worth RM50,000. Measurable, pay a down payment of RM7,500. Attainable, save RM7500 for the down payment, within a year, realistic, monthly savings of RM650 is only 10% of the total income of RM6500, time bound, within one year. 5. Reviewing and revising the progress, it is important to make sure the cash flow is always positive. We should also be prepared to change our financial goals if they are not realistic for our monthly income. Example, Juan Amina's husband is promoted at the end of June 
in the same year with a 10% salary increase. The amount of their other expenses is fixed. What is the effect of Juan Amina's husband's salary increment on her financial goals? Solution, Juan Amina's husband's salary increment equals 10 over 100 times RM 3500 equals RM 350 Juan Amina's husband's new salary equals RM 3500 plus RM 350 equals RM 3850 When the salary of Juan Amina's husband is increased by 10%, the savings in the bank can be increased. This can help them in purchasing the car, in less than one year as planned, since other expenses are fixed. Evaluate the feasibility of the short-term and long-term financial plans. An effective financial plan should set aside 10% savings of the total income prior to engaging any fixed expenses and variable expenses. The financial plan should prioritize the fixed expenses payments such as monthly installments of cars, houses, and credit card bills. If there is a negative cash flow, we should adjust the financial plan by reducing the variable expenses. At the same time, we can add a source of income with our skills to keep the fixed expenses unaffected. Example, the information below shows Ensik Yusuf's income and expenses for December 2019. Ensik Yusuf works as an insurance agent, while his wife is a housewife. They have three children, who are still studying. Ensik Yusuf wants to buy a fast brand computer, which costs RM6000, to improve his insurance sales within a year. Solution: Cash flow equals income balance, minus total expenses, equals RM4800 minus RM1500 minus RM3300 equals RM0. Based on the financial plan, Ensik Yusuf does not have any savings. So, it is difficult for him to achieve his short-term financial goal. Help Ensik Yusuf to solve his financial problem without using the emergency fund. A. Does Ensik Yusuf manage his financial effectively? He does not manage his financial effectively, because there are expenses that can be reduced, such as the spending on telephone, food and drinks. Furthermore, he does not have any investment plan for his future. B. How much monthly savings does Ensik Yusuf need to save in order to achieve his goals? Monthly savings needed equals RM6000 divided by 12 equals RM500. C. How can an additional income be generated to increase the total income? Ensik Yusuf can increase his income by selling more insurance products and recruiting more new agents. B. Create a new financial plan based on the SMART concept the SMART concept in the new financial plan. Specific, buy a computer that costs RM6000. Measurable, save RM500 every month to achieve the goals. Attainable, can save RM500 from the income of RM5000. Realistic, RM500 is only 10% of the total income of RM5000. Time bound, one year is enough to save RM6000, with monthly savings of RM500. Ensik Yusuf's new financial plan, after considering some measures, in terms of variable expenses. Ensik Yusuf's new financial plan, these expenses can be reduced, if he spends money carefully. Ensik Yusuf's savings of RM500 a month can help him save RM6000 by end of the year 2020 to achieve his short-term goal. Evaluate the feasibility of Ensik Yusuf's financial plan. Each financial plan should be evaluated from time to time based on several factors. One of the factors that Ensik Yusuf should focus on 
is the current inflation rates that can lead to an increase in the cost of living. This can indirectly increase the total expenses. If this happens, Enzik Yusuf should take action to increase his income. However, Enzik Yusuf's financial plan can be achieved as he has invested in unit trusts. The additional expenses can be covered by the dividends received. These expenses can be reduced if he spends money carefully. Long-term financial goals It is better to start saving early because this practice can help us in achieving our financial goals faster. For example, we should prepare for retirement, buy a property, and save for children's education. The income of an individual or joint income of husband and wife allows an individual to have sufficient monthly savings in a shorter period of time. Example, Ensik Syed and his wife intend to buy a house in six years after getting married. Their total income is RM8000 and their total fixed and variable expenses is RM6500. They plan to buy a double-story house, priced at RM720,000 with a down payment of RM72,000. A. How much is the monthly savings that Ensik Syed and his wife must save in order to achieve their financial goal? Annual savings needed by Ensik Syed equals RM72,000 divided by 6 years equals RM12,000. Monthly savings needed by Ensik Syed equals RM12,000 divided by 12 months equals RM1,000 for Ensik Syed's family. Saving RM1,000 every month to achieve their long-term goal is not difficult with the total income of RM8,000. B. Is it wise for Ensik Syed to buy a house priced at RM720,000 with his current financial planning? Justify your answer. No. Although Ensik Syed is able to pay the down payment of RM72,000, his monthly housing loan installments can burden him due to high expenses. Case study. Assume you are a financial consultant. Mr. Wang is the head of his family, has come to see you with the information of his monthly income and expenses as shown below. He seeks your consultancy to create a financial plan to buy a house. Mr. Wang works as a marketing officer in a company, while his wife is a housewife. They have two children, who are one and two years old. Mr. Wang would like to save an amount of RM150,000 for his children's education in 15 years from now. Help Mr. Wang to create a financial plan to achieve his financial goals. Solution Annual savings equals RM150,000 divided by 15 years equals RM10,000. Monthly savings equals RM10,000 divided by 12 months equals RM 833.33 additional savings needed equals RM 833.33 minus RM 650 equals RM 183.33 Suggestion Mr. Wang needs to increase his monthly savings by RM 183.33 1 he can reduce the amount allocated for traveling by 25% in order to achieve his financial goal of saving money for his children's education. Reduce travel expenses equals 25 divided by 100 times RM500 equals RM125. New travel expenses equals RM500 minus RM125 equals RM375. 2. He can also cut down expenses on petrol by RM100 by carpooling with his colleagues. By practicing the above two suggestions, additional savings equals RM125 plus RM100 equals RM225. 3. Mr. Wong can also consider reducing the variable expenses 
to achieve his financial goals. Mr. Wong can do some part-time jobs to generate additional income. Besides that, he can invest the amount of money saved each year to earn passive income, such as dividends, bonus shares, and interest as an addition to the total income. The new financial plan, after taking into account the suggestion. Mr. Wong's new financial plan, total savings for one month, equals monthly savings plus additional savings, equals RM650 plus RM225, equals RM875. Total savings for 15 years, equals RM875 times 12, times 15 years, equals RM157,500. In fact, the amount of money saved, is more than RM157,500, as the savings in banks offer interest annually. The feasibility of Mr. Wong's financial plan depends on following factors. 1. The inflation rates should not exceed pay rise. 2. The rental received is fixed. 3. Mr. Wong is healthy and can continue to work. 4. The increase of expenses can be offset by pay rise, rentals, and part-time jobs. 5. Nothing unexpected happens to Mr. Wong's family that involves high costs. The concept map of Mathematics Form 4 Chapter 10 is as below. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel. And if you got any question can comment below. Thanks for watching.